Before I get started, as always, I'd like to say that I am who I am because God is who he is. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be nothing. Well, now that we done got that out the way, how y'all doing with y'all crazy ass? Los Angeles, California, bougie ass LA, land of the fake ass people. Y'all some of the bullshittest people I never met in my whole goddamn life. And I'm sure glad to be here with y'all stank ass too. <laughs> A lot of y'all ain't laughing right now, but goddamn it, I'm funny. I'm gonna have your ass vomiting in a minute. You just hold on. Sitting out here, this crazy. I don't know. This, I come there late, man. I don't know. I work out here, but this, I love. I love the Mexicans out here. That's what I love. Mexicans motivate me. The Mexican people is a creative group of people. You can learn shit from Mexicans. Mexicans sell any goddamn thing. They don't give a fuck what it is. It's for sale. And you can quit calling them poor, because where is they getting all this fruit and shit from? That's, say, man, you need to get your little shiny ass in a seat somewhere. You're walking by like your ass ain't late. This ain't church. You don't just stride your ass in here when you get ready. Steve Harvey on stage, you're going to cause your hair shiny. You're just going to walk your ass by here like ain't nothing going to happen. And sit your little gang banging ass down. Hey, wait, 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 ain't nobody tell you where you was coming? What the hell you got on? You come to see the kings. The hell is you dressed like you're going to a picnic for? You put a goddamn jacket on next time you come see us. That's the other thing about L.A. Ain't hey, you done lost your sense of fashion. What didn't happen to us as a people? I remember when I asked, used to get sharp for everything. Now you got pants hanging down off your ass like it's all right. Dress up when you go out. You're always trying to act like you got more money than you really got. Broke ass people make me sick. I ought to cuss all y'all out tonight. <laughs> uh -huh, I know you thought you was going to see Mr. Hightower tonight. Well, God damn it, he ain't here. <laughs> you pay $50, you get the real Steve Harvey here. I ain't taking all this here. Hey, girl, all right. Some of y'all clean, though. Some of y'all rich. Y'all got some outfits on. Y'all shy. There's some layaway in here. You know. <laughs> Come on now. Don't act like your ass ain't familiar with layaway. You know, if it wasn't for black people, wouldn't even be no layaway. You ever had something in layaway so long when they go get it, you don't even recognize it? See, it's amazing how we do when we start coming up. You know, I get tired of people coming to me sometimes. Talking about, Steve, you done come up now. You done, you changing and all this. I'm going to tell you something about me. The one thing I take most pride in is that I have maintained myself throughout this whole ordeal. You ain't, they ain't paying me enough money, and I ain't that famous why I got to change. And a lot of it, but I want you to understand something. And just because you're on TV and you got a contract to play ball, that, ain't, that don't mean you done come up. Coming up means if you started here, and you done got your ass to here, then your ass done come up too. That's what coming up really is. It ain't just people on TV. I ain't tired of people coming to me talking about, you different, I ain't no different. Should you think cause I make a little bit of money now that I, act, that I act different than you? You think I feel different about my money than you feel about your money? Uh-uh, shit, you got problems, I got problems. <laughs> bill collector call your house, bill collector call my house. You know, they might ask for a little bit more, but damn it, the call is the same. And I feel the exact same way about my money you feel about yours. When the bill collector call 